Good morning, world. How is everyone doing today? And get over here in the chat. Today. Whoops, I do that every time. Forget to mute. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing this morning? Sean, Craig, L. How is everyone doing this morning? Got a couple of topics I want to talk about this morning. Uh, good morning, Mike, the Maniac Picker. How's it going? I'm slowly learning my list. I remembered you. <laughs> my list of names of you of uh, YouTube names is about twenty or thirty deep, and I've I've probably learned half of them. So off the top of my head, Diane. Good morning, Dawn. It is Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Of course, I say that my dog Friday is going. What? 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 Tommy Bernard, good morning. How are you doing today? So, yeah, at, uh, this I'm sure. My uh, <laughs> Google sign automatically signed me out for some reason. That signed back in real quick. So I hope I didn't have a break there. But anyway, uh, Craig, awesome uh, global shipping program, Craig. That's great. Kent, good morning. Steampunk Town, Karen Henderson, good morning. Yes, yes, yes. I know I disappeared. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know what happened. Well, I know what happened somehow. Google automatically logged me out and I had to log back in again. Silly stuff. But anyway, I'm glad everybody didn't go anywhere. Pick and flipper. Good morning. Yeah, it happens. I don't know why it would decide to log me out and have me log back in right in the middle of a live broadcast. Google for you. I'm sure everyone knows, but YouTube is owned by Google. So, and through you know, we do these live videos through Google Hangouts. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Piper John, good morning. <laughs> Michelle Aiden said, I'm so glad I got a flu shot. Yeah. That's, that's some severe stuff has been going around. I mean, I don't know if the, you know, how it is. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting a flu shot, and you should. Um, unfortunately the few times I went to Costco and I wanted to get one, it was like a two hour wait and I never did. I guess I should have just went to urgent care and got one. There's a real problem in my area in Northern Virginia with getting, being able to get into a regular family doctor. It's next to impossible. Um, so pretty much if I need a doctor, I have to go to urgent care it is what it is, you know? Actually, and the specialists are the same way as well. I got I went on a rant a little bit the other day. This is way off topic already in the morning, but uh, it is what it is. Um, my insurance, my medical insurance that I have, thankfully, because of my wife's job, uh, it has co-pays, of course, like every insurance does or most of every insurance does. And the specialist co is 50 bucks. Fine. You know, whatever. Regular doctor co is $25. But uh, I go to my a, a local dermatologist, semi-local. I finally, you know, it take like, took like three or four months to get in because here it's just impossible to get into a specialist quickly. And I go to the specialist and uh, didn't even see the dermatologist. Didn't see the doctor once. It was always a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner, which I have nothing against. Most of the time they're, you know, competent people. They've had a lot of schooling and stuff, but they still did not go to medical school. Why in the world am I paying a $50 specialist copay to see a nurse practitioner? And they get away with it. So, yeah, I don't know. But that, that, uh, it irked me. It ticked me off. So, uh, I changed, uh, dermatologist and I went to one closer to, uh, Charlottesville, where, where University of Virginia is actually Orange, Virginia, which is a drive for me. It's like a hour and a half drive or so. 
but uh, I actually saw the dermatologist. And I don't mind paying that fifty dollar co copay when I saw the dermatologist. And I felt that dermatologist did a more thorough examination. And he sat with me and he talked with me, just like doctors used to. Now they're always in a hurry. And yeah. Anyway, sorry, how's it got on a tangent there? It just it, it just reminded me of stuff the other day. Fran, good morning. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Google doesn't recognize you without the beard. Yeah. Good morning, Destiny. Thank you for popping in. Good morning, Dawn. Two hip chicks. How's it going? L woke up to uh, sold on Amazon last night. The merchant fulfilled. That's awesome. It's always good to get those sales. Period. Liz, good morning. Thank you for popping in. Always good to see everyone in the chat. So I had a just random, like I said, I have been listing, of course, uh, really good this week. I've probably listed, um, I don't know the count, honestly, but uh, over 10 a day, put it that way. Uh, one day I almost hit 20, but the sales have reflected except for yesterday. Yesterday I had a down day again. I had, a uh, only two items sell for like 80 something bucks. I haven't even gotten them out. Uh, one of them is just right there, I believe. I hadn't even got an inventory to my bins yet. And the other one's out in the garage, but, uh, yeah, so it was slow yesterday, but it happens even when listing, there's no guarantees. Yep. Rub it in Liz. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it was freezing cold in Northern Virginia has been for a while, but it's not anything near what the Midwest and Northern States have dealt with. man my nose is still running my sinuses are still draining from being sick last week i feel you know i feel fine i feel great but uh yeah let me mute here for a second glad i have this mic with the mute button <laughs> it's pretty handy when i gotta do that because no one wants to hear that uh let me see here craig also has two to ship this morning yep i only have the two i do have one actually i have one i'm waiting on payment for listen to this crap and and we all deal with this um uh took a best offer on an item expensive item um and I hate it when this happens. That's why best offers drive me crazy. And I know you can play that game where you can counter an offer by a dollar higher and they have to pay immediately. But sometimes you just don't want to risk it. Sometimes you just want the sale. So something I'd listed in the mid twos got an offer of $200 on and accepted the offer, you know, 200 bucks, take it for one item. And, uh, and they did immediately. They sent the offer. I accepted it while within about 10 seconds. And that's been two days ago. Hasn't paid. <laughs> Uh, it drives me crazy, but it happens. And Craig went posh crazy yesterday. Did you get a bunch of stuff cross posted, Craig? <laughs> Destiny, it's getting warmer here. It's six below. Whew. It's a bad day when it's getting warmer and it's a uh, six below. Liz in Orlando, I think, um, uh, Mar Marcy Kennedy, which I haven't seen her in the chat recently. I think she's in Orlando as well. Orlando area. I wasn't, when I worked back in my corporate days, I worked when I, I was in Orlando for a couple months in the corporate condo, the company I worked for, I didn't technically live in Orlando, but I was I squatted in their corporate condo for a couple months. Oh, I see Craig. Yeah. Doing, doing your due diligence on Poshmark, the following and the sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Best offer payments drive me crazy. It's, it's nuts. There has to be a better way, you know, destiny. It's been negative 55 and 45 the last few days, the windshield. Yeah. It's, you know, all across that North and Midwest is crazy. Nathan says eBay threw a wrench into my sales yesterday. Sold a, Cornwall combination ratcheting three quarter inch wrench. Pretty heavy duty wrench, and probably heavy. 
Yep. I don't even remember the area I was in Don. So Don lives in Orlando as well. So we got a bunch of Orlandoites. Yeah, Craig, it is. That's what, and that's what drives me crazy about Poshmark is that social aspect. And it's just mind mindless tedium, the sharing and the following and stuff. It's just, yeah. Again, there's gotta be a better way. But anyway, the past few days, we were talking about weather the past few days, you know, it's been freezing cold over most of the country, even in areas that is normally not freezing cold, like in Florida, Northern Florida and Alabama and Louisiana. Um, uh, I have noticed that, and I don't know if this is a weather, if it's just coincidence, but I have had a massive amount of just, I mean, I haven't gotten negative feedback, but somebody left a positive and they were just a jerk. You know, and uh, yeah, best offers on eBay, people are just not only do they send low balls, which happens with best offers, you know, and that's just part of the game, but they'll send a message along with it, you know, being just nasty, which happens as well. But over the past few days, it just seemed like there was more and more and more of it. And I've even gotten a few emails, you know, because I have my email in my every uh, description on all these videos, and I've got a, more than the normal amount of just uh, jerky emails from people, which I don't understand people why they do that, but people have more time on their hands than I do. I can barely get my work done, much less have time to troll people's stuff and getting their email and sending them a, a, an email and, and also the non payers too. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's the, the cold weather causing people to be jerks, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anybody else has noticed that the past few days. I know people get in a bad mood when they don't have sunshine and it's not warm and they can't get outside, but, uh, yeah. So Craig followed over 10,000 gained a thousand followers. Wow. But still getting more followers. That's a crazy commitment, but that's the, the name of the game. If you want to be successful over there, uh, 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 Don said an Orlando reseller group just formed and we're having a meetup next month. That's awesome. That is awesome. 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 Good morning. Reseller Rockefeller. Thank you for popping in. Something strange. going. Oh, I, I think, I think it's because I logged out and logged back in. I can't see the number of viewers or the number of upvotes or anything. I think because I, that, uh, Google logged me out in the middle of it. I can't see anything. But, uh, whatever, if you happen to, if you can hit the thumbs up, whatever. If somebody can let me know how many viewers we have, I'd appreciate it. Cause I cannot see them. Uh, Don, the 24 picker says I had a non-payer on eBay last week and I accepted their offer. Ended up opening a no pay case. Yep. Non-paying bidder and selling it on Mercury. You got great feedback on there. eBay person never responded. Isn't that nuts? See, that eBay buyer should be like suspended immediately for like a month. Anissa, how you doing this morning, Anissa? Just saw you. She's had it go, uh, go both ways. I've had a message from a buyer that was stupid, and I got kind of snippy and with the guy that I bought off of. He sent me a message begging for feedback. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Cause like I said, I can't see it at all. So that's, that's about normal. I thought I had one of those crazy deals. Remember a few weeks ago I did a live video and for some reason no one could see it. And I had like two people in the chat, two people watching. I was hoping it wasn't that kind of a situation again, but it's not, I just can't see it because of the crazy Google stuff. Yeah. I had a, uh, on my second account, I don't, leave i don't have automatic feedback on which some people do some people don't but i don't for a reason because i don't like rewarding people that are jerks and on my second ebay account um but i will leave feedback you know like once a month i'll go in and, and leave just a mass amounts of feedback you know 100 whatever and on my second ebay account i do the same thing but i had this guy he bought a hat it was just a hat, you know, it wasn't that expensive, you know, like 30 or 40 bucks. It wasn't, it was a, uh, yeah, I think it's coming up next week on our what sold video. Yeah. But he has messaged me like 10 times saying, why haven't you left me feedback? Why don't you leave me feedback? Why don't you, now I'm not going to, because you're annoying the crap out of me. 
you know, <laughs> it's like, I don't have time for your nonsense. I leave it once a month and I don't have to, I don't have, you know, oh gosh, basically I don't have to answer to you. Not, it's not a, it's not a requirement from eBay to, for me to leave feedback even. So anyway, let me see here. Good morning, Mary. How you doing this morning? She took a snow day so I get to watch live. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I always love, I mean, everyone is welcome, of course. And, I, uh, you know, you got all you guys are awesome, but, uh, it's always nice to see new names in the chat, you know, some fresh blood, a uh, reseller, Rockefeller buyers get uh, cranky during cold weather. <laughs> I thought, and I believe it, you know, like I said, the past three days, they've just, it's just been, people have been jerks. You have one of those days, you know, you have it at the pit of your stomach. Cause like, I know this day, you know, has got to end because these people, yeah. Well, thank you, Don. <laughs> Don't get me started on Mercury. They made, they really made me mad as a buyer. I'm, I'm assuming, assuming you meant mad, Anissa. Yeah. Uh, Anissa bought a chapstick that was pictured in the package. I got it in a Ziploc bag. Wow. Yeah. They could have, you know, for all you know, they could have rubbed it on their butt. Yeah. <laughs> that is not cool. Not cool at all. That, that it's we're kind of simpatico, aren't we? Reseller Rockefeller, we kind of do same, things the same way, you know. Uh, I've noticed not only the feedback thing, but a lot of a lot of things. Uh, Craig, any limitations on having a second eBay account? Considering moving clothing to a separate account? Uh, no, Craig, there's not. Um, but if it's all in the same name and all the same PayPal account, like if one account gets in trouble, the other one will as well. You know, if they suspend one account, they will the other one. So what I do with my second account, it's under my wife's name with a totally separate PayPal account. I know people said they can see the same IP and stuff, but it's easier to make a case if it's in a completely different name, you know, so that way all your eggs is not in one basket, you know. It's just like everything Dawn, she says she hadn't had any issues on Mercury, Mercury but, you know, yeah, I rarely have issues on eBay and from Facebook messages and Reddit posts, you would think, you know, eBay is a dying format and we have a bunch of people in here that make their full-time living off of it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anissa. The reseller Rockefellers in Gainesville. That's awesome. Just catching up with the chat here. Um, <laughs> Liz for day every day is a snow day for me. It's funny. Good morning, light rays. How are you doing this morning? Yep. I'm wanting to, I, I got, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it live here, but I only got two to package up. I'm gonna get those package up and get some stuff listed. And that happens to, uh, Anissa. Oh, if you're having a really bad day, I've, you know, it's hard to do it, but just leave it and let it sit until the next day. You know, that's what I try to do. Usually if somebody is really getting on my nerves, you know, I'm like, just leave it till tomorrow. Good morning, Denise. Denise is in the Arctic tundra of Minnesota. Hopefully she's indoors. <laughs> CJ Gordon. Welcome. Good morning. eBay sent a reminder to leave feedback for what a buyer that never paid. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Destiny, we got a message from a seller telling us to rate them so that they could get paid. That's only on Poshmark, right? Yeah. We haven't received the item yet. We told them that we haven't gotten the item yet. Yeah. <laughs> Reseller rock filler. Yeah. Hey, I think it's great in my mind, but most people don't. <laughs> uh Morning, Joe. The family flips. Welcome. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, people like go apocalyptic. Popolic, <laughs> apocalyptic. I can't didn't say that word for some reason. Yeah, we do. And and I'm I make. I haven't did the numbers, but I make like ninety percent of my money or more on eBay. You know, so if without eBay, I would be having to find a real job. You know, or figure something else out. Uh, he sent another message asking us to rate him so we could get, so he could get his money again. Which, <laughs> it, may, it makes you wonder destiny. Are people just, do they not read or are they truly that stupid? You know, as sometimes I wonder really, you know, so 
Let me see here. Good morning, Hawk. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Denise said they are having a heat wave in Minnesota. It's 20 degrees. Wow. Not quite, you know, set by the lakeside and lawn chair with some beers, but pretty close for Minnesota. Pretty close. Forever fishing high of 51 in Southwest Missouri today. That's fishing weather, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Mercari does the same thing. No pay until feedback received. Okay. I've never sold on Mercari. I thought about it, but, uh, Honestly, I don't have the time really to do what I'm doing, so I can't add another thing. I just won't do it. Basically, I need to take care of what, you know, I'm doing before I think about adding something. Uh, my goal this year, I have my first account. I'm um, getting my first account back to 1,000 items. I'm going to get my second account to 1,000 items, and then after that, we'll see, you know, if I want to add anything. If I do add anything, I'm probably going to do Amazon. I have Amazon, but it's just merchant fulfilled stuff. I might, I may add a kick up FBA. Sorry, my nose is itching. With all that sinus drainage and stuff, it's just, you know, it gets dry and flaky. Have my humidifier upstairs. I don't have a humidifier down here. Tip for everyone if you get sick, you need a humidifier for sure. <laughs> Reseller Rockefeller. eBay is definitely not dying. I made more last year than I have ever made on eBay in the past 10 years. And I didn't even sell as many items yet. And that's my goal this year as well. Reseller Rockefeller is to up my, uh, uh, average price per item. I want to up that significantly, like double it, you know? So, and it's been going well so far this year. Don, uh, Bolo reverse copper bottom pans got four new last week. They were $5 each sold them all this week for a total of two seventy five plus shipping. That is awesome. Yep. We, we will, we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick up everything. Of course, you know, everybody knows that and that we do pick up cookware, but usually if we pick up cookware, it ends up at our kitchen. Unfortunately, like we've picked up last year, we probably found four or five Le Cruzette things and they're all in our kitchen, <laughs> but yeah, that, that copper bottom stuff, uh, all clad. And there's a lot more brands Le Le Cruzet. I say Le Cruzette, Le Cruzet. Yeah. Oh, nose is so itchy. Ooh, I'm getting behind. Sorry. Uh, Dawn talks about Amazon where she wants to go eventually. Absolutely. And I think that's my next step. I, I want to get my second eBay account to a thousand though. So I know it doesn't work this way, but for most of the year last year, I had my main account at a thousand. My second account was only at like two to two fifty all year. So if I get that, second account up to a thousand i hope my sales go up you know by a significant amount i know i won't double you know even though you hope it will but it'd be nice if it would I have not, Craig. He's ever put a humidifier and a dehumidifier in the same room. I have not done that. Let them fight it out. <laughs> nope. I have not. We have a, you know, we basically, and I'm sure that's what most people do. We do a humidifier in winter because it gets really dry. You know, skin gets really dry. Sinuses get really dry. In the summer, of course, we do a dehumidifier because it gets too sticky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, personally, I would like to sell them. And even though I am the cook in the family for all you new people, like my wife works full-time job and I'm here all day I'm, and I am working, you know, this is a job, whether people like to realize or not flipping on eBay is your full-time job and it is my full-time job, but she has to commute. Uh, she has a very high stress job and, uh, you know, her commutes about an hour each way. So she's two hours a day sitting on a train and uh so i take care of all the uh cooking and grocery shopping and vacuuming and all that stuff so a lot of people like to joke i'm a stay-at-home husband but i work i work my tail off <laughs> i have a youtube channel i have a e ebay oh man let me see here denise uh can you tell us why you have two ebay accounts i only have one and i'm considering open another i have two to not put all my eggs in one basket denise but it is important like i was telling craig earlier if you want to do that to have your second account in your spouse's name or someone you trust 
and have a second PayPal account. Don't have the same PayPal account to tied to eBay's. So, uh, because if you have it, uh, two accounts, which is not against the rules, you can have two accounts in the same name, but eBay will know that. And if one of the accounts gets in trouble and gets suspended, they will suspend the other account as well because they're tied together in the same name. So put it in your spouse's name, do a separate email address, do a separate PayPal account. And I know people talk about IP, this IP, that well, it's easier to make a case with eBay. Like this is my spouse's account. It's not mine. It has nothing to do with me, even though it may, you know, so yeah, it's for me, it's just not putting all your eggs in one basket. I mean, I don't plan on getting in trouble. I try to do everything legit. Like I was talking about keyword spamming the other day. You need to not keyword spam because eBay will suspend you. If anybody watches terminal 99, they got suspended for, he got suspended for a keyword spamming, even though he didn't intentionally do it. He did get suspended. If I get suspended for a week, that's a significant amount of money, you know? So, yeah. But anyway, hope that answered your question. Let me see here. Good morning, Danny. EMM. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Denise. Force them all to hit that thumbs up. Yes, it is. Fridays is vacuum day. Every Friday, vacuum the whole house. Woo! Fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, let me go through the week here. I'm probably going to get stuck on the chat here, but uh, every day is dishes day, of course, in cooking because there's just some things you have to do every day. Uh, I forget. I forget. Uh, Thursdays is trash and recycling and litter boxes. Of course, you want to throw out all that junk with the trash. Fridays is vacuuming and other hodgepodge stuff throughout the week, you know, cleaning bathrooms, dusting kind of stuff. Yep. But for sure, Thursdays is trash and recycling and Friday is vacuuming. <laughs> and oh, uh, the, my grocery shopping, usually I go grocery shopping on Tuesdays, go to Costco and uh, Aldi. Yeah. Usually Chris Gentry. Welcome. Chris says, thank you for what you share for us newbies. Thanks, Denise, for asking my question. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. I had, uh, yeah, I like helping everyone. And of course, I like that everyone helps me because I do. Uh, and that leads me into, I know I'm getting behind on the chat. That leads me into the other part of our program. I'll go ahead and do my uh, YouTube recap. Let me see here. I'll show what we made in our views and all that stuff. Okay. So we have the last 48 hours. We got, well, let me get over here so I can see. We have 1,200 views in the last 48 hours. Uh, our last what sold video, episode 76, has 608 views the past 48 hours. 205,068 watch minutes the last 28 days. Uh, 15,041 views the past 28 days. Uh, average watch time is still in the 13s. It's that way. It's been that way for a long time into the 13s or so. I was hoping these live videos would really help bump that up because ba man, if you get into like the 18 minute average watch time, your ad revenue goes way up, but I don't know if I'll hit it. <laughs> Uh, estimated revenue, whatever wants to, wants to know the last 28 days, $79 and 91 cents. There it is. 79.91. And that shifted a little bit about 75% of that is ad revenue and 25% is super chats. So thank you for everyone that gives a super chat that helps that number tremendously. Uh, subscribers 215 the past 28 days. 65% of views from subscribers and 30, essentially 30% 30 from non-subscribers. Those numbers don't add up, but that's what's here. 97.2% uh, likes versus dislikes. And the top video of the past 28 days is episode 68, 25 items that sold on eBay with 14,171 watch minutes. And that's that. Let me get back over to the chat. 
Let me see here. Oops. <laughs> Danny overslept. That happens. Uh, most days, let me see. Uh, of course, weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. My wife uh, teleworks Monday and Tuesday every week, pretty much, unless she has like a conference to go to or whatever. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I usually get up around 6 30 to 7 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we get it. I get up between five and five thirty. So now, yeah. that's why sometimes on Monday and Tuesdays I'm not in Justin's show, even though he's been sick the past week, so he's missed the whole week. But uh, Mondays and Tuesdays, sometimes I'm late or I miss uh, Justin's show because I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Denise, and thank you for the super chat, Denise. Uh, I appreciate a lot. You've been a long time sub- supporter in the. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for that. Let me see. Craig also the wrong item. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Uh, Destiny keyword spamming is using a term to fraudulently is the wrong word to miss mm, to guide people to your listing when your item isn't that item. <laughs> a, a example from yesterday from my go, go and watch my, uh, what sold video. But the example I had in my, what sold video videos, I had a Panasonic cassette player, you know, a mobile cassette player, essentially a Walkman, but Walkman is a term for a Sony. It's like, you know, a box of tissues, all boxes of tissues aren't Kleenex. Kleenex is a brand. There's also puffs in Kirkland brand or whatever. So all cassette decks, cassette players aren't Walkmans because they're, you know, Walkman is a Sony. Well, I didn't even realize it. Maybe I was just mindlessly listing stuff and it was been listed for a while, but I put Walkman in that title of that Panasonic cassette player. That is keyword spamming and you can get suspended for that. So I've never had a problem with it, but like I said, terminal 99, got suspended for doing it. So it's, it's just like anything with eBay. Uh, another good example is the uniforms thing, which I do not agree with either. It's not that I agree with it. People, I, I, I think it's eBay is sometimes as asinine with the rules and, uh, but they are what they are. You know, we all got to cover ourselves, right? So make our living off this. What was my point? Oh, the uniform thing, like, uh, military uniforms, you can't sell internationally. You can only sell domestically and you cannot sell like, uh, national park, FedEx, UPS, postal service uniforms at all. It's against their rules. Even though if you go on eBay, I guarantee you go on eBay right now and check the sold listings on say a FedEx jacket, there'll be solds. They, they took my listings down that I had of that stuff, but other people list them and sell them. So sometimes eBay will catch you. Sometimes they won't. So not that I agree with their rules, but we all got to follow them, right? Yep, just like uh, Moronic Pest said, said, sometimes you get suspended, sometimes you don't. It's a, And it's a 50-50 thing, so I just prefer to you know, be cautious because, like I said, if I get suspended for a week, that's a lot of money. I don't want to get suspended, so I'm not going to take the chance. But anyway, that's just my two cents, you know. Thank you, Danny. Try to get caught up here. Again, thank you, Den- Denise, for the, the $5 super chat. I appreciate it a million. Uh, it all adds up. I know five dollars is a lot to a lot of people too, so I do appreciate that. Let me see, scroll back up. I missed a lot of questions here by my ranting and raving. Uh, Tommy, if you get suspended, you just can't list or revise list, and you still can sell. Yeah, and that's yeah, I remember that now, Tommy. And uh, but you know, listing helps a lot when you list. It seems like sales help. Resell Rockefeller Terminal Nine now got screwed pretty bad. He was he was suspended for something very petty but is learning a lesson is something we should all be aware of. Exactly. And that's why I'm saying it reseller Rockefeller, because I don't want to go suspended at all. I want to be able to list. I want to be able to sell, you know? Yeah. Just like Craig said, using a keyword that is not related to the item. You said it more eloquently than I <laughs> said it. <laughs> uh, uh, Sue Ann, welcome Sue Ann. She spent a healthy chunk of money last night at the local auction and made it almost back overnight. That is awesome. Love it when that happens. I had an item that from our last haul video that I listed and sold within a day that almost paid for the entire haul. I love it when that happens. All right. Thanks, Destiny. Thanks you. Thank you for popping in. We appreciate it. 
vehicle to get all your errands done. Yes, we do reseller Rockefeller. We all do it to a certain degree, but, uh, yeah, you just can't be blatant about it. And that honestly, that Panasonic thing could have got me because that was pretty blatant using Walkman on a non Sony item. Oh, thank you, Liz. Um, it's growing. It, it's oh, another part of that. I talk about it, whether being people being in a bad mood, you know, I track my subscribers. I see what I add every day and what I lose every day. And therefore through this cold snap, I would add, you know, say 10, but I would lose five, you know, five would unsubscribe. I would add four, but two would unsubscribe. <laughs> and I was like, people are in a bad mood. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, let me see here. Catching up, catching up. Uh, Don asked any working hangouts today. Uh, probably not. Uh, it seems like the main drive, unless Craig does one, Craig may do one. The main driver of those has been Craig and, and Justin, of course, but Justin's been sick. Lonnie will do one every once in a while on his second channel. Uh, yeah. Command post picker. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Yeah, Craig, link your channel, bud. You, you got a ranch. Go ahead and link your channel. Craig puts out some good videos, interesting stuff. I watched your uh, what sold video, I think, a day or two ago. Yeah. Again, thank you, Denise. I just caught up with your super chat. The big green box. Yeah, reseller Rockefeller, it, and, and it is like that's that part of the my uh, reason I didn't start one for so long was the time thing, and it, it does take a lot of time. But I'm in now; I'm committed. I can't, no going back now. Anissa, Mike, do you have the sweater shaver link in this video? Can you put it in after you're done? Uh, it should. Let me see. It should be because I have it on my. I just got a new message. You know, it's not showing up in this one, Anissa, but I will add it. I got to add it to my defaults is why it's not showing up because I added it to one of the other videos, but I didn't put it in my default listings. And I will put that in there after this, uh, after we're done with this video. Let me see here. see yeah command post picker uh, that and that's and i used to buy them the, he's talking about the fedex uniforms i have sold them in the past and you know i would buy them they're good condition because they would sell and they would sell for decent money you know 40 or 50 bucks but uh one time i bought some and listed one and ebay said you can't do that it's against the rules and it is it's against the rules uh the family flips joe got suspended because louis vuitton claimed a belt that we were selling was fake but it wasn't ebay lifted the suspension for me immediately though that's awesome a lot of that stuff is worth fighting, just like you said, especially if you can prove it, if you have like a receipt or whatever, a tag. Let me see here. Hey, Lex. Good morning, Lex. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, put your link in, Craig. I don't mind. Make it easier for people to go over there and sub to you. We can get Craig to a thousand. That's Stu Ann. I'm hoping to get my first pallet over the summer when I'm uh, when I'm in my new house. So congrats on the new house, Stu Ann. Hope you have a big, like lower level or an area to do your eBay stuff. Oh, thank you, Command Post Picker. I'll put that down. I always. I got gotcha. you. One of my best friends is named Keith, and I have an uncle that his name is Keith. So I always remember people's names by relating them to something already know, you know. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And the message alert fills me with dread. Yeah, I know. Because it could, I mean, usually it's pretty innocuous, but it could be someone complaining, someone griping. It could be anything. 
Yeah, yes, I was. T- yeah, yesterday, Lex, it was pretty slow. I only had two sales for eighty something bucks, whereas the previous three days before that were really good. So, there's Craig's channel. Everybody can go sub to Craig. Oh, no problem, Manissa. That is no problem at all. You buy it at your leisure. Every, you know. I'm sure everyone's all over the place resell Rockefeller. I I know I am. I can just look around and see all the crap around me and have tons of different stuff. Yeah, Sue Ann, it's always someone complaining about the condition of an item or wanting to return something. Or, yeah. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's somebody that wants a particular measurement on a piece of clothing or asking a specific question that's probably already answered in the listing. They just don't read. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Forever Fishing purchased a 40 foot shipping container. One of those, what do they call them? Connex shipping containers. Hope to have a walk in door and a few windows installed this weekend. That's awesome. And give you a good area for your flipping. Moronic Pest is mostly vintage toys. I love toys. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm behind on the chat. I'm scrolling up, scrolling up. Oh, that's awesome, Lex. Uh, Lex put an offer, offer in on a house. Now on to the whole other process. Yeah, inspections and, and your uh, appraisal and all that good stuff. i tell you, the, I mean, mo- there's a lot of inspectors that do a good job, but the past two houses I bought, the inspectors have been garbage. I did a better job inspecting than they did, but I'm, I'm pretty handy, but yeah. I told the inspector of this place that we bought, I told him, I was like, the roof is bad. And he goes, no, that's okay. You got a few years. I'm like, the roof is bad. Within six months, we had to have the roof place because it was leaking. So. Yep. Anything, anything that's legal is what I say. Reseller Rockefeller, anything that's legal, I can make some money on. Oh, you should, Craig. Everybody's always looking for different stuff to, you know, do and stuff. That's why I know the majority voted it down, but, and it won't dominate the channel. I'll make a new playlist, but I'm going to start this spring when I get out in the creeks hunting for civil war relics and stuff. I'm going to make some videos just to make the channel more diverse. And it will go into flipping too, because if I find stuff, I'll sell it, you know, keep some stuff, but. Oh, that's awesome, Sue Ann. I hope you get it. Oh, no, I didn't see that one, Pittsburgh Mike. I watched uh, Lonnie's video this morning that he had from yesterday, I think. I'm calling it Lonnie's He Shed. You know, that commercial with She Shed. It's Lonnie's He Shed. I have to watch the sinkhole thing. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. It, it, the chat sometimes will jump. And like I'll be scrolling through and it'll jump. <laughs> and I have to scroll back back and find where I was. Denise, uh, my inventory is in my office. Everything in one room, 750 items. That's awesome. You got to be organized, right? Yep. basement alabama thrifter in his basement yep i'm in my lower level i take up almost the entire lower lower level of our house Uh, danny if we find civil war stuff we have to turn it in first really huh which state are you in danny is it i can't remember <laughs> yeah, Don, I, that I'm I'm looking forward to sp- the back in Missouri. I you know I got out quite a bit. You know, metal detecting, water hunting, and stuff. And we had a lot of ticks in Missouri, and the ticks love me. You know, I don't know if it's what my blood or anything, but literally, my wife, could, my wife and I could go out and walk the same path of the same trail. We'd get back home, she would have no ticks, and I would have like five ticks on me every time. So that's something about my blood. I don't know. South Carolina, Danny. Yeah. Um, so we're in Virginia, but, uh, 
in in Virginia, in this area, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Lyme disease is awful in this area. I read that the first thing when I started research my uh, the metal detecting in this area is, is uh, Lyme disease so bad. So ah, with the how the ticks love me, I don't want to get out during the summer and on the land, but I will get in the water. You know, because the ticks are less likely to be all over you. They they could drop from the trees above and stuff, but uh, it's less likely. So until they would come up with a Lyme disease vaccine, I'm not going to get out and land hunt in Virginia unless it's cold, you know, like it is today. So, yeah. <laughs> Dirt fisher, yeah. I like magnet fishing as well. I haven't got to do it. Lex, do you have O plus? I have O plus. Oh, uh, I'm a, uh, you're talking about blood type. I'm AB positive. AB positive, which is a little bit of a rarer. Yep. Uh, yep. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you for popping in. All right, finally got caught up on the chat here. Uh, so yeah, we talked about weather and the how to, the mood affects buyers' mood and everything. Uh, yeah, anybody, anything else you guys want to talk about? I'm game. I gotta go. What about you guys? Been in winter, my knuckles get all dehydrated. I gotta go moisturize. Oh, let's see what that message is. I forgot to do that. Let's just. Let's see if it's good or bad. Don't you? I love messages like this. This is. I'll, I'll, <laughs> this one's perfect. I'm going to see if I can get their name out of this so I can show it to you. This message says, hello, any way to reduce shipping to half? I don't set the shipping rate, you moron. I do calculate it. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. Much appreciated. <laughs> these, I mean, these buyers are, really, I mean, are they, I mean, it's one thing if they want to reduce the price of an item, fine. But you want me to reduce the shipping in half, something I do not control. I really don't know if people are deluded and think we actually control the price of shipping that gets charged. I really don't know. Good morning, John. Welcome Cincinnati picker, but here's the message right here. Let me, uh... Right there. Any way to reduce the shipping in half. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, someone pays for it. And I don't, like I said, I don't, I really don't know sometimes if they really think that we control the price. I just don't, I don't understand. No, I'm not that smart of a man, I guess, is what I'm saying. I'm definitely not a psychology major. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, send half the item. I like that, Nathan. Yeah. So I can reduce the weight by half, but you're not going to get like the, the item itself. I can send the box. <laughs> yeah. John, can you please lower the shipping cost? I can, but I can raise the cost of the item by the equivalent amount. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just crazy. I just don't understand. As Sean has a good point. Lots of people still think shipping is free until they go to ship something themselves. <laughs> good morning, Uncle Warren. Thanks you for popping in. Uh, yeah, just wave your hand. And this item weighs two pounds less. <laughs> mm. Moronic pest, that's my most frequently asked question while I do free shipping. Jeez. Yeah, Liz, they don't. And, and they, they also have, because all these major retailers do free shipping, they have no clue 
how much postage actually costs for a normal person. Like all these big retailers, Amazon, and even even like say like Eddie Bauer and LL Bean, all these big clothing stuff, they all have special deals with the, their shipping service of choice, whether it be FedEx, uh, UPS, or Postal Service. They make deals. Uh, a lot of you don't know, and a lot of you do know, but back a long time ago, I worked as a um, just a part time mailman a rural carrier associates what they call it but i was only a fill-in i was part-time i wasn't full-time and and i saw that behind the house you know our postmaster had a lot of leeway to make deals even with local businesses of what rates to charge and the bigger the business is the bigger you know discount they get so and consumers are used to that they're used to free shipping well us normal resellers don't uh, don't get that kind of a cut And it is cold down here. I should have worn my should have worn my little hoodie or something. Oh, that's awesome, John. I'm glad that's going well. John, if uh, John the Cincinnati picker, if anyone doesn't know, just got a, a foster girl. Yep, I'm sure that's a transition. And you guys have you, uh, you guys have a baby on the way too, right? When's the baby due, John? Yeah, John, that's a good thought. Just reply with the link to the shipping calculator. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, reseller. <laughs> Absolutely. Just the most absurd, absurd off-the-wall things, you know, every day it seems like. Oh, yeah other daughter's been acting out for attention that happens you know i'm a middle child but i was the only boy as well so i i really don't have middle child syndrome because i just had two sisters one older one younger and yeah i was kind of left to do whatever i wanted to do which was fine with me my dad was more concerned with his beer and cigarettes than to deal with me yeah Shaw Shaw said, make many make offers to me and want the shipping included. Yeah, they offer like 50% off and free shipping. I'm like, yeah, take a hike, pal. Yep, uh, John's baby is due April 24th. Waiting, still waiting to find out if it's a girl or a boy. Doesn't matter, really, does it? I'm sure you want a boy because you have a girl, but it doesn't matter. Big Papa Yo shipping question. Do top rated sellers get a better price breaks on shipping charges as post sellers who are not top rated? Yes. We do get a the commercial rate plus, which is a discount. It's not a huge discount, but it is a discount. The the better discount until recently was cubic shipping, and it still can be, but the used pirate ship uh, always. Now, since the uh, price increased at the end of January, it's about 50-50 now. eBay is cheaper sometimes, but pirate ship is still worth checking because stuff that's qualifies for cubic, that's going far, that's heavy, and even FedEx. Uh, depending on the weight and the size and the distance. So yeah, just check it all. Danny's in Charleston. We love Charleston. We used to, we have, my wife is a, uh, part of her hobbies was she is a certified sailing captain. She's a sailboat skipper. She's taken all the classes and the last class she took, I was with her. We went out on the boat and it was in Charleston based out of Charleston Harbor. We love Charleston. Let me see here. Yeah, and this uh, John's having another baby. Yep. Yep, yep. Scrolling, scrolling. Jeez, chat's jumping all over on me. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Steampunk Town. Appreciate you stopping in, and you have a good one. Happy, hope you have a lot of sales. Uh, Sean, I think I may be top rated this month since my sales have gone up. That's awesome. You'll get your top rated. They'll notify you of it, but it still takes that till the rollover or whatever that date is. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, Kelly. Congrats. Can Kelly got top rated last month. Both of my accounts are top rated plus and then my third account, I'm trying to build towards it. 
basically the third account doesn't really count to my rule because it's just in my name. Um, but I'm doing a third account just for junk stuff that I don't necessarily want to sell on my main accounts. <laughs> All right. Thanks, L. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, the 20th day. Yeah, I couldn't remember what that was. Awesome Lex. Lex got her top rated as well. Brian Fid Fiddler top rated, but still not doing free returns for the discount. I, yeah, I'm kind of opposite, Brian. I do calculated shipping, but I do do free returns. Um, strictly because they give you that option to keep up to 50% of a returned item. If it's not in the condition you sent it in, sent it in. So, uh, I've had that bite me more than once. So I do calculated shipping and free returns. That's not that bizarre, Sean, because I mean, I can't remember the metrics, but you'd have to have what a hundred solds and a certain amount of money. It's been so long. I can't remember. Oh, thanks, Denise. Thanks for keeping me up with that. I'm still can't see my numbers here, but from the log out fiasco when I first started, <laughs> so I don't know where I'm at, but I'm glad you all got, you all are here. Oh, Shan's deals. Would you do? Whoa. Oh, you retracted it. I was going to respond. Oh, well, you know, that's a good question, Brian. I really haven't even checked on that. I don't, you know, I'm not going to take eBay's bait on doing free shipping and free returns. I just, no, uh, they're, I'm sure their discount isn't worth it. So shipping costs so daggum much, especially coast to coast that it's not worth it to me. Even if I do not get the top rated discount, the final value fee discount one item can crush you when you do free shipping. The Dawn has been top rated for four years and only had about 80 items until about four months ago. That's awesome. That means you're selling consistently, right? That's, that's pretty good. Uh, Sean checked it out. It's a hundred items, a thousand dollar plus. So yeah, that's, you know, I'm not saying it's super easy to get, but you know, it's not that bad. Good morning, Will. Honda Hangouts. How you doing this morning, bud? He does calculated shipping with free returns as well. Like the fact they can give reduced refunds if needed and control the negative feedback. Yep. 100%. Keith does flat rate shipping and it works well sometimes. Make a little more sometimes. Yeah, averages out. Yep. Yeah, Brian, absolutely. Like, 10, you know, your final value fees. I don't know my, my typical eBay bill. Cause a lot of people pay their bills. Yeah. This goes into your philosophy, whatever it is, but I pay my bill by the month and it's usually 600 at the low end to, you know, a thousand, 1200 bucks sometimes. So you're looking at $60 to a hundred bucks in that range that the discount will get me for the 10%. But, um, like I said, one shipping free, free shipping item coast to coast can cost 30, 40, $50. So just not worth it to me, you know. O'Shan, I mean, would you do free returns on electronics? Thanks. I do, but it is to to each their own. I do thoroughly test mine. It's, but, uh, this is what I do, O'Shan, on on especially higher end electronics. When I say higher end, say a hundred dollars plus. Um, I will do a video of me testing it, and I have a separate eBay, a separate YouTube account now. It's called eBay electronics testing videos i don't let me let me see if i can link it you guys can sub if you want but all it is is test videos i used to do the test videos on my main account but i did a separate youtube account for this um so i will post a video in my ebay listing of an electronic showing it that works completely works fully not that that will matter with a scammer or whatever but i don't know if i can be able to get to this or not youtube is being funky but anyway, I post that video on electronics and, uh, and if it's, everybody has their own philosophy on two on signature confirmation. But, uh, to me, if something's uh, 200 bucks or over, especially on electronic, I'll do signature confirmation. 
Uh, Denise, do you have a premium store on eBay? I have a premium store on my first account and a basic on my second, but I will be popping for the premium on my second account soon, like in the next month or so. So yes, I have one premium account, one basic account. <laughs> Max also on the same way. I gave up on free shipping too. I, I tried it. I tested it out. I, you know, I tried it to see if how it would affect sales, if it'd be higher sales wise and stuff, but it doesn't, didn't matter to me. It did not make one iota difference in sales for me. And he does one day handling and that's what I do as well. One day handling. Yeah. eBay can keep their tiny little discount for sure. And I am freezing cold. Yeah, Lex, I, I, I'm sorry to repeat everyone, but Lex, yeah, Lex is a long time viewer, so I don't mind answering this again. Do have two eBay accounts, but if you want it to be really effective, I call it not putting all my eggs in one basket, but to be effective, your second account needs to be in your spouse's name or somebody else's name, along with a different email address and PayPal account. It all needs to be separate because if one account gets in trouble, the other one will get in trouble if it's in the same name. eBay will know that it's linked. So, uh, yeah. The benefit is just not putting all your eggs in one basket. Like if my eBay account got suspended, my main eBay account got suspended for a week, it would stink. But I have my second account I can list stuff on. And I'm going to get my second account equal in the next few months to my first account. So if one gets suspended, it doesn't really hurt me. I wanted to leak my second YouTube account, but I don't know if I can. Uh, let me see here. Give me just a minute. See if I can pull it up. I got a little heater down here, but it's not doing the job. My hands are freezing. <laughs> okay. So let me see if I can. Get this account pulled up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, excuse me. Hungry. I'm on my last hour of my fast. Get really hungry at the end. Copy. Okay. This is my eBay electronics testing account and go and sub to it if you want to. But this is what I do for electronics. You also, when you do that, and maybe I should make a video about this. If you do a YouTube video of testing your electronic stuff on eBay, you have to go to um, a video code converter. Um, all you have to do is Google search. Here, let me link that as well. YouTube, eBay video. I probably should do a video about this. but uh, You have to basically convert the link to a HTML5 code. So it's a little process. This is the link to the website you convert your code on. It's uh, called, yeah, it's right there. So I uh, click on that. What you do is take your YouTube link and put it in the box on that website and it'll convert your code to HTML5. You will copy and paste the HTML5 code into your eBay listing. So in your item description box, it, most of it on the default setting, it's just text, but there's a tab at the top that says HTML. Click on that tab, put your cursor in there where you want your video and paste that HTML, HTML5 code and save it. And your video will be there of you testing that electronic item. So hope that helps anyone. <laughs> Anissa, do do a video on that. Okay, I will. I'll do a video on that next time. Uh, sometime or Monty wonder where he was, bud. Good morning, Monty. Yes, Craig, Deneen mugs are good. <laughs> yes, they are. Do you find some? Uh, people will say that, Oceans, but um, 
in my mind, I think there's a better case to be made if you have them in separate names, even if they are the same IP. You could use a freaking, uh, what do they call those? A virtual private network, a VPN. You could use a VPN, but all you have to say is, this is my spouse's account. It's not my account. It has nothing to do with this. And eBay will let you slide. Thank you, Monty. Thank you for watching. Awesome, Kelly. See, don't you love the coffee mugs? I love coffee mugs. Just 99 cents for each for two. That is awesome, Craig. You should make good money on those. Is it, Will? I can. That's all, folks. <laughs> and that is about all. We were about an hour in. Thank you, Denise, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Hope everyone got something out of this today. Uh, yeah. So everyone list today. List, list, list. I know I'm going to first. I'm gonna go up, go upstairs and get warmed up. I am so cold. I'm gonna wear my hoodie down here when I'm listing. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah. Any other questions you can put and on this, I will put that sweater shaver in the to my default links, and I will link it in this video when this video is done processing. It may take 30 minutes or so. But thanks everyone. Uh, yeah, we will we're going thrifting this weekend just like normal. So hopefully we have an awesome haul video for tuesday but i'll be back with the live video on monday so yeah see you guys then thanks a million you guys have a good one